Hey, Kelly, you're a great volleyball player. I'm so happy you're on this team. Got a collection of clips with some ideas to make you even better. You rock. <laughs> Kelly, you're a great blocker. Force at the net. Nice first step, hands come down, full back swing, crossover step, going to be 45 degrees to out when you jump, straight over when you get up, landing 45 when you come back down. Great. Another example of a great block, nice first step, hands come down, full back swing with your crossover step, nice flexibility in your shoulders, you're 45 degrees to the out going up, Facing straight in, going over, rotate 45 degrees. It's also important to see that set trajectory and watch the hitter to make sure that you're making the right decision here. A swing block's not necessary. She actually is attacking where you were, and you swing past her here. It's really important to find the hitter as soon as you can to see if she's attacking strong and knowing what she's doing. If she's not taking a big swing, not to jump. Here, she gets both blockers hanging out to dry, going into that one spot right behind you. A wing blocker is responsible to take away the hitter's power down the line. Whatever she can hit down the line, you make sure your outside hand is covering that. That should be with your body position straight up and not reaching out to the outside. Here you're leaning to the outside and running the risk that the blocks can go off your hands. You want to work really hard to get back in transition after blocking, get way off the net, take a big approach, especially on this next one where it's a broken play and the first contact's bad. You've got to get off the net ready to swing. Defensive passing should be 20 feet high, 10 feet off the net. That's what we're aiming for. This is a great first contact and shuffle. Balls in the seam, get out and shuffle and contact, especially on a bad pass. I think you'll agree with me on these that in each instance, it's high in the seam, it belongs to middle back. Let her get it high in the seam. You got the responsibility for it low and in front of you and let her get the ones that are high in the seam. This is a really good move, low and in front of you in the seam, shuffling out and getting a good swing in the ball. I'd like you to be attacking in the three feet from the antenna, taking your approach to that spot, and then we'll get our setters to get the ball out to that spot. But you want to struggle to get all the way out to that wall in transition, quick, really fast footwork to get out there instead of backpedaling, and then take a first step approach to within about three feet of that antenna, and then come inside if we have to. But all of this stuff is way too far inside right now. At the 15s and 16s division, you know, it's going to be a lot tougher. we got open net right now. And they're going to be putting up a big double block right there. That middle's going to be able to get into that gap where you're actually being set and where you're actually hitting the ball. You want to get to a point where we're running a fast offense all the way outside by that antenna instead of cutting in and hitting these balls. Right side, uh, I don't think you have as much practice with this on your footwork pattern. Uh, I see you shuffle stepping quite a bit, and uh, you might want to work on the footwork pattern to get back in transition. Uh, these two are some nice back row attack swings. And now you're going to see a series of them where the set again is too far inside. You know, that's part of the setter's responsibility to get it out to where you should be, but you should also be preparing to attack out there as well. Some examples of uh, a need to get back in transition ready to hit a ball on a bad first contact. You are a hitter who needs to get back and ready to be set the ball so that you can swim instead of being in here in the middle trying to make that second contact. Get out there, get out there, get out there, and get ready to swim. When we 
cover the block, we want to be staring at the blocker's hands and it's still and motionless when our hitter is hitting the ball. So if you watch yourself in these clips, you're actually moving and taking steps when the hitter is hitting the ball. You want to be completely still, arms out, very low, and ready to move in any direction, and watching the blocker's hands, not our own hitter. When our opponents get a big first step and attack in the middle, I would like to put a triple block up. I know this wasn't a very strong team, but be still at the moment of her contact, not moving, low, arms out, ready to go anywhere, and then transition now. When we choose not to block because there's a free ball, we're still playing defense. We want to be still, not stepping backwards. We want to be low and still when they contact the ball in case they're very smart about placing the ball short in front of you. Our off blocker needs to be at 10 feet still, 10 by 10, watching the hitter and being ready for these tip shots. Remember, you got the entire front row. You got to cover that entire thing, uh, looking at that hitter and knowing whether or not she's tipping the ball or not. This ball is yours. I like your jump float serve a lot. Um, you tend to lean over to your left a little bit. Um, the amount of lean you get kind of dictates the direction that the serve's gonna go. In gyms where we have enough room, you might consider trying to take your approach more head on in the direction that you're gonna serve the ball rather than take that sideways approach. Because I'm, I'm not certain that the toss in your direction of steps is dictating where your serves go or not. Look, I like it though. Free ball passes have to be absolutely perfect. Here's a really nice one. And then one where you struggle a little bit. Maybe the sun. Two by two is where you should be when the setter sets the ball. Two by two, home base defense. When we're in serve receive rotation one, uh, I need uh, the opposite and the outside hitter to stay where they're at hitting until our opponents make their first bad hit. Here's an example of the two of you switching and they get a good pass and you see how naked zone four is. It's just wide open for her to dump the ball here. And we need to make sure that we wait until they have a bad pass where the setter can't dump that ball before we make that switch. You just as an opposite, just stay on the left side until that situation presents itself. 